Greetings, fellow exterminators. Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 11 of Stellaris Nemesis, which originally aired live on Twitch. Alright, Dora is heading to the two systems that they just took from me, but that's not going to be enough to flip this war. And okay, another hour. You got it. What other games do I play? Uh, so if you check rodamont.com you'll see all of the things I'm currently playing with my release schedule and everything so that's a pretty good uh, resource but the TLDR if you're wondering uh, I have Stationeers RimWorld Prison Architect Project Zomboid uh, and Evil Genius all on my docket so those games and I'm releasing all of them on Twitch and YouTube throughout the, you know. All right. We are over Empire Sprawl, I just noticed. I'm not worried. Wait, I screwed this up. So I have three extra Corvettes and one, f two, f uh, not enough. What? Okay. One, two, three. Apparently I can't count. But the uh, cruiser's being rolled out now. Now, the this Fallen Empire won't let me through their territory to hunt the enemy fleets down. Um... But that's fine. Inhibitors should uh, make them stop sneaking through choke points. Yes. If, uh, or just, you know, I don't have that tech yet, but once I get it, we'll put it on the, uh, the wormholes and the like. All right, Dora, let's get you repaired. Discovered. And more resource for jobs. Heck yeah, that's a good one. Hey, cheese. You want me to update my uh, uptime? We just voted for an extra hour, so. Hey, Zach the Terror. Have a good night. Come on. And Bulwark of Harmony is the last synchronicity. So, you all are going to have the chance to vote on next Ascension perk. Become the Crisis. Or, there is Enigmatic Engineering. There is, where are some other good ones? There's Synthetic Age, which would be really good too. And I'll just include those three. Now, if I don't become the crisis now, I can always become the crisis later. There's not like a requirement that it gets done at a specific time. So, uh, Galactic Force Projection allows you to have larger, more, more fleets, Bas basically. It's useful, but, like, to a degree. Okay, I need to do some planetary love here, because I have a lot of planets that have uh, unemployment to some degree or another, and that's not good. As a result of growing so fast. They grow up so fast. Okay, this planet is going to be in trouble in a sec. And now I'm out of minerals. Cool. System scan complete.
Will you die? No, you won't die. Okay. Jackal Fleet, you're idle. Let's go into their territory. Ooh, I want to see what's on the other side of this wormhole, too. Uh, but maybe not that direction. Hey, Dora. Let's get you back out here. Oh, Troller, I don't want you to hit the swarm. But you're about to anyway, so I'm going to sidestep the swarm for now. Because I don't really have a... I don't really want to fight that. Oh, you know what? Daedora and Troller can fight it together, though. I'm going to group them up and get ready to hit the am amoeba. And if I'm hitting the amoeba, uh, I'm going to want a scientist to do some research on it. The closest one is at Yoda. So Yoda, come down. Or whoever that scientist is. So here's the big amoeba fight. I lost a cruiser. Two, cru uh, two corvettes. Three corvettes. Not terrible. All right, let me go repair up at uh, Sarai's Mage discovered. and have this scientist reverse engineer that debris. Mining station output goes up. Good. All right, Synthetic Age it is. So th Synthetic Age will allow us to modify our robots even further. Um, again, removing the luxurious pop cost. And let's apply this template. And we'll be even better robots without the heightened pop, pop cost. Having no downsides. Alright, Jackal's in for, full force now. And this is their capital. So this capital accounts for a lot if I capture it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm headed there now. Let's watch that fight. So they have three cruisers that I am ripping up. They're gone. And that was the fight. <laughs> All right. Uh, Daedora and Triller. We're going to head to the other capital. Uh, which is this way. Uh, but we're going to need a science ship in tow to be able to discover the uh, the lanes to be able to get to the other capital. And it might actually be wise for me to build another science ship for that purpose, so let's get one out. Blink and you miss it. Yeah, it was a pretty quick fight. I mean, I'm still fighting their uh, starbase, which is a little bit tougher, but not by much. The tech level and the, the fleet strength is just... They're not tough enough. Research vessel taking fire. Research vessel taking fire. Uh oh. Uh, that was the one that was down here, and an assault core. Yeah, stupid assault core came to mess with me. It's lame. All right, so Jackal Fleet completely eliminated them and has access to the Javorian Pox. So it's just going to Pox Plague their their uh, their base there, their uh, homeworld. Have fun with that. New technology discovered. Oh, here's a high-level scientist. Is this the one? Oh, yeah, this is the one that I sent down. Yeah, perfect. Plasma Accelerator got researched. Let's get Advanced Shields. That's an obvious choice of those choices. Uh, sounds very war crimey. Yeah, you better believe it. I'm dropping plague on everybody. So the Javorian Pox, just as a reminder, is catastrophic damage to organic pop. We'll bombard undefended planets. We'll reduce planets to lifeless tomb worlds if given enough time. I can literally bombard until Tomb World. That is disgusting. I love it. I don't have big fleets. I would need much bigger fleets than I currently have to be able to do that. 
but that sounds like sounds like a good time all right little planet maintenance No, no, no. I'm going to pause while I do planet maintenance. I just have so many planets. The too much whips by me if I don't. Oh, and I'm out of minerals. Never mind. Debris scanned. Yeah, we could choose to tr gar uh, garbage dump on them as a different method, but uh, I didn't choose that. I like the pox. It's very exterminatory. Because, you know, being robotic, we can't be hurt by pox. I want to extend the deal, but I don't have the money. Let's get money. There, done. So we have an invasion fleet coming to Vrinius, which is Vryn Prime, and Jackal Fleet, which is absolutely bombarding their homeworld, the other person's homeworld, um, but with no in invasion army yet. Uh, the Achieve War Wall Girls are within distance, but let's uh, let's claim the Elgate, and that will be the last claim that we make. Um, yeah, that will be the last claim. Taking an Elgate away from an enemy is a good thing. Now, where's that other science ship? Uh, create Hidden World Archaeology Site at Jazium with one less district. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Archaeology sounds intriguing so jazz who's gonna go there kadath you'll do it excavate that site i like how kadath is stuck around even though he's like uh for all intents and pur uh, purposes sort of a lobotomized uh researcher so he's never gonna ever level up which is sad uh Kiev, let's delete that researcher and put you in here. There. Now we have a scientist uh, helping to forge to scout this area once we conquer that. Yeah, only we are allowed to have L gates. Exactly, I don't want to share them. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, we captured their shipyard. Just keep nuking them. What's funny is we haven't actually killed anyone. Oh, no, we're starting to clear out their uh, defensive armies, which will help invade later. So here's my main fleet that's uh, ripping through their territories. Done. And then we're two hops away from Vrinius, which is bad news for them. Commencing planetary invasion. All the L gates Planet lead to the same conquered. pocket space, but uh, any of the L gates can open up the L gates when you finish the L gate project. So it's important to, if you don't want to compete with others uh, for the L gate uh, universe, to own all the L gate systems that, or all the systems that don't have L gates. So that's kind of what I was doing, was making sure that, uh, you know, if I can make it so that nobody else owns Elgates, then I have no competition when it comes to it, which is, uh, which would be nice. I mean, I'm not worried for competition, because if I look at the victory conditions, I'm now easily triple the strength of anyone else. 
But if I'm going to become the crisis, one of the things is when you become the crisis and you level up the crisis event, uh, it you will get to a point where everybody in the galaxy will be against you trying to stop you as the crisis. So it's it is also going to be important for us to uh, to make sure that as we become the crisis, we are strong and we're as strong as the rest of the galaxy combined. Because that's what truly being the crisis means. Commencing planetary invasion. All right. We are invading Vryn's home planet. And let's look at our war score. So we have minus 73 war score. We finished this invasion and... Scanned. Finished the invasion we and... Seized an enemy world. Didn't change much. Changed by four points. So we're going to have a lot more invading to do, I guess. Let's get to it. Ooh, Jackal Fleet took some losses. In this fight. They had a bulwark and a fleet, I guess. I'll start reinforcing. Yeah, I suppose that they, um... Oh, they're mostly coil guns. Yeah, they have a pretty low-tech, uh... Low-tech fleet there. Nonetheless, it did some damage to Jackal. But, uh, not... Not critical or anything. Ooh, two planets to invade. Double trouble. Commencing planetary invasion. And then what I have is a scientist in tow, because eventually I'm going to fight my way to these wormholes and figure out what's on the other side. We have seized an enemy world. And there goes their world. One more. If I group my fleets up, can I take on the Marauders? Um... Commencing I can take out the invasion. wings of the Marauders, but not their home Marauders. The home Marauders, as you can see, is 7k, 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 4k. But the side Marauders is 7k, 9k. So, like, no, not really. If I if I expanded my navy as much as I can and really saved up, maybe I could do a little bit of a dent, but it wouldn't be worth it. Planet conquered. The benefit of um, conquering the Marauders is not that great. In other words, uh, the benefit doesn't outweigh the risk. Because another thing that you have to note is if so I throw my fleets at the Marauders and I get my fleets eradicated by the Marauders, uh, what ends up happening then is everybody sees me as weak and comes and messes with me. So everybody that has a grudge against me will declare war and then all of a sudden I'm in a like way multi-front war. Which is fine if I'm prepared for it, but... Oh, low stability. Uh, dang. I've been ignoring my plans for far too long. Uh, what do you need? You need... Jobs. Let me pay attention to them. I will go bottom up this time. So you just go top down. Commencing planetary invasion. Hmm. All right, the Yoda shipyard is now bigger. It's star fortress sized, uh, which is awesome. And I will give it just resource silos because I don't really need anything else at the moment. Eventually, I'll have uh, invasion construction yards for higher tech ships. So this war, I'm down to negative 60. So we're definitely working towards the goal, but it's, uh, it's a difficult one because of all the claims I have. I made it harder for myself. Uh, I do have the ability to get new tradition. So we have expansion, domination, 
or prosperity. If you need me to describe them, I, I can, but I mentioned them a few times already. Expansion is uh, the benefits to col new colonies. Domination is making enemies your tributes and vassals. And prosperity is uh, improvements to your own economy. And and uh, yeah, that's like that it, it summarized, I guess. Very brief summary. All right, there's some there's some fleets stacking up uh, where I am with Daydora and Trioler. Worth mentioning, I guess, just because there's a bunch of them. They're not going to win. They're not a threat. But uh, there's a, a large number of them. Oh, and the, you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to cut off my army, so I'm going to have to uh, intercept. Uh, prosperity it is. So adopting prosperity gives my mining station output increased by 20%, which is pretty huge. Finishing it will give additional uh, amenities for maintenance drone jobs, which is pretty awesome as well, or give additional jobs per 20 pops, I should say. And then um, next up, the next tradition will be between... Uh, Building upkeep and district upkeep reduction, or um, building a district, having their build cost reduced and build speed increased. So, cheaper or faster, in other words. But we're, you know, it'll be a while for that tradition to be unlocked. Right, back to planet maintenance. How do I not have jobs dear lord i need to get the next uh research lab uh job thing because this my my home world is running out of space for buildings new technology discovered we got more resource for jobs that's awesome and let's go with uh, admin capacity because we're over capacity right now and that would be helpful. My planets are starting to really become fairly populated. Uh, some of them, not all of them. So that's definitely going to have a benefit later on. All right, back to the war. Tidora and Trioler uh, did catch up with that fleet and wipe them out. There's some amoebas here that are just not my enemy, but they're just in my way. Uh, Yoda had 54 housing, but not jobs. The problem is these research segments add 10 jobs and 10 housing. Uh, so it has 54 excess housing, but uh, zero excess jobs. Actually, for some reason it has... Wait, what's going on here? I think it's bugged. No, it has a ton of... Oh, these are disabled jobs. Why are they disabled? I didn't disable them. Oh, uh, there was something wrong in the game. So I, I, I'm... I, Yeah, never mind. The game went all fooey and disabled a whole bunch of jobs for some reason. I don't remember ever doing that. So never mind. I don't need more jobs here. That's really, really, really strange. Yeah, that was whack. I I don't really don't know. But yeah, let me uh disable some of these uh, research labs that I'm paying for. Now that I don't need the excess jobs. That was really, really, really strange. There we go. Much, much nicer. Alright, that that looks right. Uh excavation. Let's keep pushing that ahead. So now my Empire Sprawl at the end of this month should drop a lot because I just shrunk Yoda Prime. Oh, I guess it already dropped. That looks a lot, lot, lot 
more appropriate. All right, fleets. Let's go against whatever this is called. And then this scientist, we are going to research the projects here, projects here, and explore that one home. Uh, Jackal fleet. Let's go against this fleet that is trying to take back Fainov. I should. I pro probably should check if I have any disabled jobs elsewhere because that was really strange. But I don't think I do because every other planet seems to make sense except for that one, except for Yoda Prime. So what is this called? Uh, New technology discovered. Hey, damn tacos. It goes pretty well. Just in a long war. Way longer than I thought it would be. Uh, but I'm not losing. Haven't even lost any battles. Debris scanned. Just definitely uh, a fatiguing war. Considering how many territories I've had to take. So if you take a look here, all of the green stuff here is territories I've stripped from them. Including their capital. And I'm heading towards the other capital soon to take their other capital from them. But uh, but my war score is negative 55, so I still have quite a ways to go. I don't like uh, late game when enemies have like giant alliances, and the giant alliances require you to take a it, just a ridiculous amount of territory in order to like beat them, because uh, that's just the way it works. It gets a little absurd if you ask me. Ooh, Jackal is getting beat up. Took, again, some significant losses. I'll replace soon. They're not going to lose, but... All right, the wormhole. We're going to find out where that leads to in a second. It leads to... The corner of nowhere. Cool. Stimpax, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, and Triller took losses too. Dang. Jackal's really getting... What is going on? Are they... You know what? This fight's bugged. According to this fight... What the hell? According to this fight here, I have not taken a single shot on them. I'm just letting them shoot me for free. What? What? I don't know. That's a bug. Uh, that's obviously a bug. Like a bad one. Like embarrassingly bad. Because I took a look and the damage that I had dealt to their fleets were zero. Like I had never shot their fleets, not once. Yeah, that's a really, really, really bad bug. And I'm glad that I kind of noticed it before uh, Jackal Fleet went bye-bye. Because that's super dumb. Bug to Mortal Fleet. Have to reload. All right, let's do that real quick. Uh, menu? I'm on uh, Iron Man mode, so I can't save. I have to do it this way. No, they don't have high tech or anything. I'm higher tech than them. It was just, it was bugged. Even the highest possible tech imaginable, uh, you would still do damage. There's no such thing as doing no damage ever. That's not how this game works. Station under attack. Uh, I'm gonna make. Lucid. I'm gonna make Lucid my tradition. My unity uh, city. Oh, poor Jackal Fleet. Well, they're going to get reinforced. No, no. I mean, feel free to chat. I'm just letting you know that no matter how weak you are, you, your weapons will always connect with something. Engaging so if you take a look here, uh, down here, at the, see the damage output? As we start to engage, see how there's... 
numbers, well, they got destroyed before they were able my weapons outrange them. But basically the way it works is Engaging you fire at each other station. and um, here is the tiny little station here at strength 200 against my 4,000 apiece, basically. And as you can see, it still racks up some damage before it gets destroyed. There's no such thing as like no damage. So yeah, clearly I'm doing thousands of damage. They're doing hundreds of damage, but they got to do at least a hundred or damage or two, right? It wasn't completely one-sided. It was, uh, you know, so whatever that fight was, except for evasion, yes. But there was no chance that they have evaded a thousand, you know, tens of thousands of shots back to back to back. That doesn't make any sense. It was just, it was a bug in, in that one case. Maybe it was an evasion bug where they got to evade a hundred percent. I don't think that was the case, but Spaceport I, lost. I've never had that bug before. Uh, Spaceport lost. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. I had to leave here cause Jackal Fleet couldn't hit. All right, let's start invading more territories. And now these two fleets are going to work their way down to Area Hoslea, which is their uh, their capital. While Jackal recuperates because he got needlessly destroyed. That was really, really strange. So I'm going to have Jackal go back to Yoda to get repaired. Dedora and Trioler have already been reinforced. Scanned. This stopped being a humiliation war? New yeah, it's a big discovered. claim war now. All right, antimatter reactor looks to be the sexiest choice. Doing the planet maintenance here. Uh, Lucid getting a simulation site. Let's build two of them because there's not a lot of jobs to be had. It's only four jobs total. You can see all the ships running to reinforce Jackal here. It's kind of funny. Commencing planetary invasion. Oh, no chance. No chance at all. <laughs> so one-sided. We have seized an enemy world. Where is the one Yoda Reaper that's out of date? On Yoda Prime? Seriously? I don't believe that. All right, let's have my army keep following the Navy around, and we're going to start invading their their soft spots. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. I'll be watching this time, so if it does happen again, I could just bail on the fight pretty quick. Because you can always just walk away. Because the way it worked, the way, the way it worked, I was able to have Jackal fly away from the fight but normally when you're engaged in a fight you can't just fly away you have to you have to um you have to flee or retreat so the fact that i could fly jackal out of the out of the fight means the jackal it hadn't registered that jackal was in the fight i hadn't registered that jackal was in the fight but they had registered that they were in the fight with me which meant that it was just a bug between um Research jackal not being in a fight but them being in a fight if that makes sense so it was it was bugged in a way where only one side was firing. I wasn't firing back. Which is why I was able to like just fly away. Which is odd, but makes sense. New technology discovered. Alright, new tech for mining station output. Let's go with mineral purification hubs for more minerals. Although our economy is looking pretty good now. I finally recovered. Uh, we're sitting pretty high now. Did 
this station's barely able to repair us at a reasonable rate. Oops, I had the uh, archaeology site ready to go and I forgot. Did we look through the two new wormholes? Uh, one of them that goes to Morgard. The other one uh, I will get to. I'm researching debris first and then the wormhole. I have it queued up Engaging already. hostile fleets. Uh, we can repair a ring segment. Uh, no, we can't. We don't have the research. It requires both uh, alloys and research. So if you take a look here at their segment, I'm missing mega engineering research. So just because I can afford it doesn't mean I can do it. Press reminder though. But uh, I was, I had my eye on that ball too. <laughs> I can afford maxing out my fleets, but I don't need them right now. So there's no reason to put a, a bigger Good strain on my out. economy if the ships aren't required. But let me speed up time. So now the war at this point should start turning in our favor. And the other side of this is, ooh, a ruby swarm. Yeah, no thanks. Oh dear Lord, no thanks. A giant ruby swarm. That's funny. I imagine jumping through that the first time. If you didn't like explore it and you just jumped recklessly, you would get so smushed immediately. Yikes. All right, so this is one of their home worlds that uh, I lost due to the bugged uh, fleet thing that happened. But now I'm here and uh, it's not bugged. They do have a pretty good garrison though. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change my um, bombardment stance to indiscriminate and not land yet so that I can weaken their defenses because otherwise I would lose some of my army. Low stability on Lucid. Oh, well, that's easy to fix. Ta-da! Debris scanned. Antimatter reactor is mine. Let's get encryption so that we can't get hacked as easy. Uh, Jackal is now at Yoda and being reinforced. And we are bombarding their planet. Uh, so as you bombard, because I never really showed this before, um, you as you devastate it, the planet becomes increasingly easier to invade, giving the defender less of an advantage. So if they have a bit of an army, as you can see, most of what I've invaded in the past just has had two defensive armies, but this one has, um, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so instead of, of possibly... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, the Oracle. I'll have you vote on this uh, in a second. So instead of throwing my army at a well-defended planet, I can just bombard their defenses. Um, so for next tradition... Here, let me finish this and save it. 
Okay. Alright, so this... Before we vote on this, I might want to explain. Um, the Oracle here... Uh, is part of the Relics DLC and um, enabling the Oracle is kind of a xenophilic thing to do. Uh, the yeah, I mean you can vote either way. Um, it gives you a governor that is like going to be non-robot. Is sort of the uh, the spoiler alert. So if we wanted to be robots only, um, enabling the Oracle is definitely not in our interest. And disabling it would give us a whole bunch of influence and, and alloys and stuff like that. Stuff I don't really necessarily need, but uh, uh, the uh, yeah, so the TLDR is basically the Oracle gives you like a level five immortal governor um, that reduces a ton of uh, crime, but also reduces research. And uh, he is obviously not of your species. So looks like we're going to disable it. Uh, if we're disabling it, sir, yeah, I'm just going to disable it. Okay, uh, we did just fill up on influence. I have no more room for more. And then... New tr Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. New tradition. Oh, uh, I gotta retype this because it got screwed up. Uh, power transmission. Or prefab buildings. So power transmission is... Building upkeep and district upkeep is reduced. Prefab buildings is that uh, buildings and districts cost less and build faster. Oh god. And we just had a wraith happen. So mineral, mineral purification hubs just got finished. Let's research... Uh, crystal plating, because it's going to be so fast. And what mineral worlds do I have? I had one mining world, didn't I? Upgrade. I should probably get a second mining world, to be honest. Where's a good one? Uh, Rick Rolla is a good one to do. Mineral mining. And replace with... Stick. Power transmission, it is by overwhelming majority. I know I didn't leave that up very long, but uh, those that voted quick. The council's having another election. Don't really care. New technology discovered. And we got simulation complexes, which is even better. Uh, let's get the finally get the extra building slots. And let's go and land. I think they're devastated enough. Devastation levels now is uh, the third tick for max. Invasion. So there will be losses. I think I just lost one. But it's uh, a smaller price to pay. Planetary invasion successful. Alright, so we lost two of our army units, but uh, we captured their planet. And that should be pushing up the war goals even more. And, and what I'm going to do now is just headhunt for their New colonies. Because colonies are more bang for your buck than uh, the other stuff. Than, you know, taking individual systems and whatnot. Let's add hit points to Corvettes.
And we're gonna go on a invasion tour here. Really as fast as I can. I'm tired of this war. Uh, there's nothing to invade that way. Let's double back and go this way. Planetary invasion successful. So I get two or three points of acceptance for each planet I invade. And I might actually have to capture everything, which would be really, really obnoxious. Uh, Jackal Fleet is back to normal. Uh, I'm going to upgrade them and then send them back out to start to squash. New technology. Oh, actually, they're getting bigger than they're supposed to. And Corvette Hull Points is upgraded. Let's get uh, Plasma Thrusters and more physics research. Gateway travel would be nice, but I don't really have any gateways in my uh, territory, so it doesn't really help me immediately. There's a bunch of Corvettes that are like joining this fleet that were left over from reinforcements, so I'm just going to start to disband them. Keep all the fleets the same size. Spaceport under attack. Oh! Trustin V2 getting spectered right now. Oh, and the spectre enhanced. was already ripping up. Oh boy. They're already ripping up the north here, so Jarhead, uh, Dennis, and JD are tore up. So let me get the uh, a construction ship to start to resettle that and uh we're gonna have to deal with this specter somehow now one of the things that we can do here is talk to the curator here and tell me mysteries about and this of course is the wraith tell us about the wraith it is a blue wraith so blue wraiths um, have their light synchronizes with both class A and B stars. Their ability to avoid conventional weaponry is weakened in systems with blue giants. So if I attack it when it's in a blue giant system, it's weaker. And then let's also talk to him again and pay him. Oh, uh... Yeah, how does our current fleet? I would strongly advise against it because I need to add to my fleet. So I'll be adding to my fleet pretty soon here to help with the raid. Fleets enhanced. All right, Jackal Fleet is all sorts of weird. There bigger fleet that's all max 60 this is max size fleet now at my current tech i also have one too many star bases so let's get rid of one solenops oh wrong way solenopsis bye bye so i really want this war to be over because I have uh, a wraith romping around in my uh, in my territory, ripping everything up. As you can see, it's just killing everything. It's terrible. I'm gonna have to resettle behind it. All right. Now I think what I'm gonna do is uh, divide and conquer. I'm gonna have my army follow one of my uh, army or my navy, and then we'll have the other one just start so conquering territory. Scared. Commencing planetary invasion. Yep, there goes Zach the Terror. Conquered. Man, this wraith is just ripping up my territory. This is really ridiculous that it picked me specifically just to mess with, but oh well. Wow, Jibru has their borders open to me? What idiots. 
I'm like, I'm the most hostile faction in the on the in the galaxy, and they're like, oh yeah, come on in, dummies. I guess I'm killing their enemies. Maybe, maybe that's what they like. I don't, I don't even know. They're peaceful traders, so they're they're dumb. All right, so Jackal Fleet is now max size, and uh, let's deploy them. Receiving transmission. And then Chiolar and Deidora will be max size soon too. We'll just keep building our fleets up until we can take out that wraith because that wraith is just uh bye bye turtle Sin oh it's messing New with my planets now discovered. no bueno right, let's go ahead and get uh, regenerative hull tissue that way our ships can repair on the on the go and I have war exhaustion okay uh the acceptance might be possible if I hurry and start capping things like crazy. Outpost rebuilt. That turtle sandwich. Receiving so, transmission. Hopefully it just like wanders in. You know what? If you could wander into the Marauders, that'd be cool. I'd be all right with having you mess with me so deeply if you wandered into the Marauders and did them damage. That'd be totally okay. Ridiculous has picked, like, picked me out just New to mess with me. Technology discovered. All right, keep researching tech. Can the Wraith kill the Marauders? Uh, probably. I guess we'll see, won't we? Hey, Tangier, thanks for gifting out a sub and welcome. I'm getting bullied by NPCs here. And Jazium just rebuilt their outpost. Discovered. The original trust in is going to go bye-bye. Regenerative Hall Tissue just got research, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and research next. Terraforming. Why not? Jackal Fleet can be upgraded, but I'm not going to. I have a timer on this war now, so I, I need to wrap this one up. Lest it is going to be a white... Uh, a white piece, which would suck. Actually, you know what? It wouldn't suck because one of the things about uh, status quo is I get to keep what I captured and I captured most of the things I asked for. So status quo, I still basically still win. It's just not quite the humiliating win I want it to be. So I'm going to push for the humiliation win if I can. All right, Dora, uh, beeline up here to like colonies. And Chioler and Jackal will just keep smushing. Research vessel engaged. Oh no. Fly through it. Alright, so we have so many things left to reclaim. Uh one of the ways to reclaim a little bit faster would be to get um a few more construction ships out here. So let's do that. Two more. And uh, net new tradition. So we've got uh, prefab buildings, but we also have peak performance, which is more complex drone output. Now, complex drone output is like non-menial tasks, like um, I'll show you in a second, and then efficiency algorithms, which is just more monthly credits. So complex tasks, if we take a look at the population here, would be things like replicators, evaluators, calculators, hunter drone seekers, um, sort of higher, higher cast jobs. Um, 
And the menial stuff would be maintenance, mining, that kind of, that, those kind of jobs. You know, the mining drones, the generator drones, the lower tier jobs. Just to explain what that is. Oh, the freeholders killed it. They destroyed it. So it went through. Yeah, wow. I'm actually surprised it got destroyed so easy. Okay, the Marauders lost. That answers that. I didn't... I thought... I, I would have expected it to go through the first Marauder and then die to the outpost. But it didn't even make it through the first Marauder, which is just embarrassing. I really thought it would have. Um, Alright, let's get uh, my constructors out here reclaiming the lost territory. Receiving transmission. And we'll go peak performance. Dang. That's a brutal loss. Yeah, it seemed weaker than expected. So I can still decline that peace agreement, even though I'm more exhausted, because I'm not quite at the point where it's going to force me to do a peace... Construction online. Come on, Jackal, hurry up. You're so slow. Yeah, that uh that jackal uh destruction really set me back. But let's see. 33? I don't think I can get 33 in time. But I'll try. Uh, actually, Jack will go this way. Just start capping this stuff. Can I unclaim a node? No. Once you claim it, you claim it. If you, so I'll show you. If you go to the claims here, uh, you can. Well, actually, you can unclaim nodes, but um, let me let me see real quick. Ooh. No, there's a so so at Zoblar, I need to get my I need to get my army landed at Zoblar because this wasn't a planet last I was there, and I think that will help my claims considerably. But I don't necessarily want to unclaim it because it would mean not getting the Elgate I want, and then not having access to the Elgate. I don't want to do that. Tioler, keep grabbing. Jackal is grabbing territory now too. I don't know. We're we're making headway, but how much time do I have left? New technology discovered. Oh, force uh, forced peace is already possible. So next time they ask for peace, I can't even turn it down. Well, let's get uh, less war exhaustion as a result. And, well, that's going to have to be it, won't it? I'm going to... What I'll do is I'll finish up to the end of this battle. Up oh, there it is. Never mind. Wait, no, that's... I'm still at war. Online. Oh, yeah, we can accept this for now. All right, there we go. So, I didn't get Viet or Zoblar, uh, but I did get the Elgate system here, which is one of the ones I asked for. And then I got this uh, this wormhole system and importantly, I also got their excavation site, their archaeology site. And I got this uh, wormhole as well. So I got three wormhole systems um, in a cluster, which is going to be really, really nice. So I now have a weird island in the middle of their stuff. Thank you for watching Stellaris Nemesis, which originally aired live on Twitch. This series on Twitch has since ended, but there's still approximately... 13 hours or so yet to air, but if you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, not that I'm streaming Stellaris Nemesis anymore, my stream schedule and countdown timers can be found at Rodamont.com. 
Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or maybe another stream. Farewell.